are bringing up Trixie on your own with the help of your yes. family yeah. and, and friends and everything. Do you feel overwhelmed when you think, I'm going to be a single mum? No, not really. Um, only because for me, this is, you know, I'm at a stage in my life where I, I feel like I've achieved all the things I set out to achieve. Mm. So I, you know, motherhood was a challenge that I'd always hoped would maybe come along one day I'd looked forward to. Yeah. And it, for me, it's just, it's my soul. It's, it's what I'm... natural to you, isn't it? Well, it's it is. I just, I've always, yeah, I, I've always felt it would be very natural and I've always felt I, would, I am very maternal anyway. Mm. So for me, it's just the biggest... Um, Blessing. I always sound, yeah. it sounds so cheesy anytime I think about it, but it so. it really is that cheesy. Even hearing her now oh. cooing and, and getting restless in is the background. Is that making your boobs milk? They're getting sore, yes. But um, <laughs> no, I, I, for me, yeah, I don't, I don't really look at it that way. I, I definitely now, and she's only eight weeks old now, but I now have a whole new respect for single parents because mm. I... Um, I respected them anyway, and mm. I have a few friends that are single mums or single dads, and you know you you see what they go through or the way they have to juggle and the way yeah. they have to, um, you know, their lives are consumed mm. and they are full time, um, you know, looking after a baby without necessarily that you know full time support with them. Yeah. So I, I I I now go wow to do it to be able to do it is 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 a huge challenge and it, it's pretty massive it is massive but I also think you've got to build your village you know you do because I well I do have a partner but we ship him off every chance <laughs> we get you know I think oh my god I do have a village and you need to use those people yeah. and they get so much there's only so much you can give them they you know I think it's important to have so many people around and you've got a beautiful family that are always yeah there with you that she's going to it's it's different, I it think. It is. You know, you need those people around you and, and everyone to raise your kid with you. Well, it's so true. And the funny thing is because so many of my, you know, friends, you included, my, my family, they've all just, they keep putting their hand up, you know, what can we do, what can we do, you know, how can I help? And at first I remember thinking, guys, I've got this covered. I'm mm. sorted. Thanks anyway. But then you suddenly realise, whoa, no, yeah. I really, you know, if you've got a day or a night where, you know, your baby's unsettled yeah. and you've just you've got no one to pass her to just to get, you know, a few minutes of relief. Yeah, um, to have that shower. <laughs> yeah, just to do, I know. I mean, at the moment, I, I barely, I shower. If I get a shower in before midday, that's a good day. Oh, that's a great day. Isn't that a great day? Yeah. But it's one of those things where, you know, if I want to eat, I'm starving, I'm ravenous and I want, want to make dinner, but yeah. she's going off her head. I, I can't put her down. Yeah. I don't know what to do. And I, then I just don't, I go without dinner. So, you know, you can see, you know, and I'm so lucky to have, as you said, that village and the family mm. and friends around me. But I really feel for single parents that don't because yeah. I can't, um, I can't fathom what that would be like to, to, to have no support. So I'm very lucky to have yeah. that support.